All right, so we are back with another video. And in this video, what I'll do is I'll show you how you can actually work with components, like message components. Uh, they're actually very, very cool in my opinion. And I'll give you an example of what I mean by message components, right? So let's look over on our Discord server. And you can see that right over here, that there's this little select menu, or you can call it a drop down menu. And if I click on it, I have options, right? And I'm going to show you how we can actually create this to do whatever we want. Now, you might want to have a drop down menu for the user to select a role. You may want to do it for, uh, you know, getting access to a certain channel, right? Like opt into certain, uh, you know, announcements. You can do whatever you want, basically. But I'll show you how you can uh, create this. So that way you'll have an understanding of how to do so. It's actually very easy. So let's go over to our code. And what we're going to do is whenever we use the, uh, the whenever we use our uh, order command, we're going to go ahead and respond to the user with the drop down menu. Okay. Now there's a couple things that we'll have to do afterwards in order to get the response. So what I'll do right now is I'm actually going to go ahead and clean up our code a little bit because right now our our interaction create uh, event handler the function right it doesn't really do anything right now. The first thing that I'll do is I'll check to see. Uh, if the interaction is a chat input command. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check to see if uh, the interaction uh, command name is equal to order. Okay, and if it is, I'll just say order command. I'm just console log all of the other stuff too. Okay, and we'll look at it in the logs over here. So let's go to our Discord and let's go ahead and do order take water and let's go to our code okay so you can see that it's logged everything which meant that we issued the correct command you can see that this order command chat input commit interaction and uh, we have everything being logged over here which is great okay we have uh, the member the person who initiated that command the user object the guild id the channel everything so if we need to get such information we can do that very easily okay so now uh, what we want to do is we want to reply to the user and we want to reply to them a select menu. Okay. So uh, it wouldn't really make sense for us to have uh, this command with options. So we can modify this a little bit. So maybe for example, we can just remove the choices like the options. Uh, and I'll actually do that right over here. I will go ahead and just uh, for now, I will actually just comment these two things out. Okay. So the user must do just slash order. And then when we do that, we'll reply with uh, this drop down box. That'll make a lot more sense. Okay. So if the command is the order command, then we'll go ahead and reply with the drop down menu because we have to check this it could, because remember we have multiple different slash commands. And if we don't check to see what the command name is, then it's going to execute this logic for every single slash command, which is not going to be correct okay so what we want to do is we want to create the select menu now how do we do that well with components we actually need to use an action row builder so uh, let me actually show you in the docs all right so here's the documentation on message components you can access it very easily on the discord documentation and it tells you what exactly message components are uh, and what you need to know is that if you want stuff like uh, drop down menus, if you want buttons, all of these will need to go inside an action row component, right? And basically, action rows are just non interactive, which means that you don't really interact with them at all. It's just really just a container component for other types of components, right? Uh, don't, worry, don't really worry about the type, okay? All you really need to worry about is that whatever component that you want to uh, add to like a message, it'll need to go inside an action row first. So that's the first thing that we'll need to create. And then we'll have to add other types of components inside the action row. And you can see that in the documentation, they show an example in JSON, right? That they have components. The type is one, which means action row. And then inside here, we have uh, an array of components, and these are going to be other types of components. So I think this, I think type two is a button, I think. Let me see if I can find the documentation real quick on all different types of components. We can see that right over here, 
Type number three, I believe, is a drop down menu. But uh, let me see if I can find docs on the type of action, the type of component that is. Um, so that way you at least know where you can go to uh, look for these things. Oh, actually, it's right over here. I, uh, I'm silly. It's literally, it was literally right in front of me. Okay, so you have type one, which is action row. You have type two, which is a button. You have type three, which is a select menu. And you have type four, which is a text input. Okay, now you obviously don't need to memorize the numeric value of each type because you're going to be using the Discord. Uh, you're going to be using the builders library to build these components anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's go back into our code and let's go ahead and build out our action row. So first thing I'll do is I'll do, uh, I'll declare a variable called action row component and we're going to instantiate a class called action row builder and remember this actually uh i think this is actually supposed to come from uh i think it's supposed to come from discord js i think i'm not sure because i know discord js has this but then it's also in the builders library which is also interesting as well let me actually double check just to make sure It's a little bit confusing on why there's two different ones, but I think they should work the same way though, I hope. Uh, anyways, so what we need to do is we need to call the set components method. And then inside here, we're going to pass in all the components. So we're only going to do a select menu for now. So I'll go ahead and create a new instance of select menu builder. And again, I don't know why they come from both different libraries, but I'll just go ahead and import this from Discord JS for now. I guess in the new update they decided to add select menu builder inside Discord JS. I'm not sure if it was there before, uh, but I guess uh, we'll just use the Discord JS one. So select menu builder, and that will be imported up top over. Uh, let's see, right over here. Okay. So we're going to create a new instance, and then we're going to go ahead and call uh, the set custom ID. So this is. Uh, going to be the custom ID for the select menu. This is how we're going to know what the select menu is because you can have multiple different select menus, right? You want to know what the actual select menu is. So I'll just call this a uh, food selection. Uh, I'll just call this food options. And then we'll also want to set the options as well. So we'll call the set options. And then we'll, and this is just going to be an array of options. And each option is going to have a label. So we'll just go ahead and say cake value uh, cake. And you can also have other properties too. Uh, I think emoji is one of them. If you want uh, to see what the other options are, you can easily just go to the docs, search for select menu builder, uh, and just go to select menu builder, uh, set options, and then look for the select menu option builder type. Um, and I'm not sure why I can't get the exact ones. Let me actually check the, well, this is the builders. Let me go to discord JS select menu builder. Go over here. Uh, API, there we go. Okay. I guess this is, uh, this is the types. So let's look at the types real quick. Uh, you have label value, you have emoji, you have description. Uh, and you have default. So if you want to set a default value, you can do that. This is a Boolean, right? If you want to set emoji, you can do that as well. But for now, we'll just do label and value. So let's do label and uh, let's do label. Let's do pizza value. pizza label, whoops. Let me do that. All right, there we go. Let's add one more. Sushi. Whoops. There we go. All right. And now that we have set the options, uh, the only thing that we'll need to do is we'll need to reply to the interaction. So we'll reference the interaction object. We'll call the reply method. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, reference the components property. And for the components, this is just going to be an array. And we'll just pass in uh, action row component dot to JSON. Because remember, this is uh, this is just the instance itself. We need to call to JSON to pass in an object. Because that's really what it is, right? We're just we're just converting it to a JSON object and passing it in. 
and it's going to call the API and it's going to send it to the Discord servers or the Discord gateway. So let's go ahead and test this out. So let's go to our code. Let's do slash order, right? Slash order. And you're going to see that we now have our drop down menu. And you can see I have all of my selections. I have cake, pizza, sushi. That's awesome. If I select one, nothing's really going to happen right now. But don't worry, I'll show you how uh, we can handle uh, these select menu options um, whenever in, in a separate video. So for now, we'll just go ahead and leave it as is. Okay, but hopefully this makes sense on how you can actually create these select menu items. Okay, or these select menu builders. Um, so yeah, hopefully that made sense. In the next video, I'll show you how we can actually interact with uh, these me these menu options. So for example, if I select something, I want to actually do something with that selection. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that in the next video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out.